Hello guys and welcome to our next tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you a little bit about CompuServe 3D Player and I'm gonna show you how to store uh, VTK files uh, which will contain almost lossless information about uh, simulation that you're running and they are actually preferred way to start uh, simulation output and they're definitely better way than, than just storing screenshots. So those VTK files, uh, as you run them, let me go to the console. Uh, first, uh, well, th those VTK files, uh, those are effectively uh, 3D arrays of numbers and they contain, as I mentioned, pretty much all the information about CompuServe 3D lattices that are used in the given simulation. So, for example, if you have a simulation that has you know, a bunch of chemical fields, a bunch of vector fields, uh, cell field, those VTK files will contain all of that information. If you use screenshots, if you use uh, any type of screenshots, you know, uh, it's highly unlikely that you will save as much information as, it, as is available in VTK files. So. Um, it's actually a good idea to learn how to use uh, VTK files uh, because uh, most importantly they will enable you, they will allow you to do post-processing after the simulation is done, which probably will, is not going to happen if you just save screenshots. Okay, so let me open up CompuServe 3D Player. And here it is. So if you want us to store VTK files, you go to Tools, Configuration, and in the Output tab, okay, in this tab, you check this box, Save Lattice Every Nth Monte Carlo Steps. Okay, make sure it's checked. So with these settings, every 100 Monte Carlo Steps, the VTK file for this particular step will be stored in the Output Directory. An output directory will be located in this folder, I remind you, okay? Hit apply. So I'm going to run a cell sort to this simulation with, uh, that, that has growing cells, that has a chemical field. So it's a, it's a good uh, example for, for our uh, short tutorial. Alright, so the simulation runs. Happily, and every 100 Monte Carlo steps, the output is stored. So I'm going to wait till 1000th Monte Carlo step. All right, almost there. And I'm going to stop the simulation now. All right, so now once the simulation is stopped, uh, we can take a look how the directory with VTK files looks like, okay? So I'm going to go to uh, Windows Explorer, I'm going to go to CCTV workspace, and now take a look. I have cell sort 2D growing cells mitosis using steppable simulation. And this is exactly the name of the output directory. And if you look at the date, this is this is today's date and the current time, so I'm pretty sure that this is the directory I want to open. I go to Lattice data, and inside Lattice data, I have a bunch of VTK files. If you're interested to see how they look like, well, let's open one of those. Okay. Here and turn, uh, that's how it looks like. Okay, bunch of numbers. Okay. And so this is information about chemical field. If we scroll down, this is information about uh, probably cell types, and then there is information about cell IDs. Okay, but this is really not important. You don't have to know this. What you need to know is how to open those files in the player. So now I'm going to show you how to do this. To open those VTK files to replay those simulation snapshots in the player, you go to File, Open Lattice Description Summary File, all right, and you navigate to the Workspace directory and the directory where, which, which uh, stores the output of the simulation. You go to Lattice Data, Subdirectory, and you open 
this DML file. Okay. And now if you hit step or play, doesn't matter, Compuser 3D reads those VTK files and you can examine, you can replay the movie of the simulation. Okay. If you want to see the chemical field, here we go. Okay. If you uh, want to go to cell field and see uh, 3D projection, there it is. Okay. So those VTK files are sort of nice things because, first of all, almost all the information about lattices is stored. Second, if you want to do screenshots, of uh, of the running simulation, you can do it using uh, by replaying uh, simulation files and making sure that this guy is checked, okay. And moreover, you can use those VTK files in a Python script to post-process uh, the simulation results. You can you can you can use Matplotlib or VTK directly to produce nicer visualization than, than those available in, in player. So it's a good thing to know how to deal with VTK files and I think that's enough information for now. So I will see you at the next update. Thanks.